All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So how is everyone today? Uh, Grant, welcome. Blue Chameleon, welcome. AG37, hello. Technogamer, hello. Uh, Perido Dorito says, hey. Fury Rex says, hi. Oh my gosh, so many of you. Hi, welcome. So excited to see you all. Uh, we are playing some Atlas today, guys. Now, the last time we were building a base out on another island, um, but our ship out there got destroyed by some ships of the damned. And so now we're back at the Freeport um, and I'm kind of setting up a few more items just for uh, my use here at our at my tiny little base. And then um, one of our patrons is over here crafting up a schooner, which is kind of amazing. It's coming along really fast, actually. Um, Blue Wolf Gaming says it finally snowed like eight inches of snow where I live. That's amazing. It's been trying to snow here, and I really hope that it doesn't actually stick. Look at this. The ship's getting done. That's awesome. This is going to be a cool ship. It's going to be really big, too, which is kind of nice. All right. Let's go ahead and keep on going here. So I did kind of want to uh, do a little base work, do a little bit of taming, um, <laughs> do a little bit of stuff like that. I think it would be good uh, to kind of get a little bit more established. Little Grape says, it's my B-Day today. Happy birthday, Little Grape. Um, Sean Mart says, what game is that? This is Atlas. Uh, it's kind of a pirate pirate massive multiplayer online game and I'm on a private server right now so it's just me and a few patrons of the channel uh techno gamer says I'm your fan well welcome thank you so much techno gamer <laughs> uh Pablo and says is Atlas on Xbox no Atlas is still very early access on PC it might eventually come to an Xbox platform but I wouldn't expect it anytime soon um it's got quite a ways to go before I think it's ready for that Hopefully someday. All right, so we have some taming materials here. Um, I do have a generic saddle. Now, there are some cows over on this side of the island, and I do have I do have the ability to tame cows. So what do you think, guys? Should we tame a cow just for fun? <laughs> Start off the stream in an exciting way by taming a cow. Um, I think there's actually a bull up this way we might be able to tame. Yeah. A bull. He's not very high level, but uh, we could try to tame the bull. Um, Rob Bob says, PUBG Mobile, I need it. Um, yeah, we might be able to do some PUBG Mobile stuff in, I don't know, maybe today, but I am kind of busy with some other uh, episodes I need to, I need to record today. So possibly today, maybe tomorrow, more likely later on uh, next week or the week after. Um, <laughs> cow. Awesome. Yes, I will definitely uh, tame the bull then. Let's go ahead and put some berries here. I know the cow can be tamed with some berries. I'm not sure the bull can. We might have to bulla the bull. Bulla the bull. That's a hard thing to say. Yeah, because it doesn't look up like I'm going to be able to uh, tame him up. All right. But I should be able to tame the cow. And hopefully the bull doesn't get mad at me for this. Look at our lawyer's little sheep, too. They're so cute. Yes, beautiful. So we're going to get a cute little cow. And we'll have to break it out of the trees here. And we'll have at least one creature hanging around the base, which will be nice. <laughs> Oscar Soto, thank you so much. That is appreciated. Uh, Jonathan Angel says, add me on PUBG. Um, you're probably going to have to add me. I probably won't be able to go and add other people. Um, yeah, mostly because I've not done that very much and I don't super have the time to go through and add a bunch of people. <laughs> Sam Reese says, yes, we want cow. Well, perfect, because we're, we're taming one. Eh. There we go. I have to, like, come from this angle, otherwise I can't get it. Um, Crux says, I lost my old RG to a Spino yesterday. Oof. That's the worst. 
Boy123 says, I need more Arc Mobile. Boy123, there is lots of Arc Mobile content on this channel. I have a um, couple hundred videos, I think about almost 250 now, and most of those are Arc Mobile. And I continue to make Arc Mobile content, so I'm just taking breaks with other games. <laughs> uh, Direwolf says, Iguana, I really want to donate, but I can't. No worries, Direwolf. That is totally fine if you can't donate. Uh, Mr. Gaming says, you're so good at this. Keep it up, number fan. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gaming. That is appreciated. Exterminator21, this is Atlas. Atlas is a... Basically kind of an arc light game in that it's survival and crafting and taming. Um, but it's much more pirate themed with like real world creatures rather than dinosaurs. Um... <laughs> Can I make a vid on how to tame equuses and arc? Uh, Sean, yes, I actually do intend to do that. The problem is I have very bad luck with the rare creatures and I have not found a wild equus when I was setting out to, uh, oh, hey, when I was setting out to actually tame myself up uh, an equus on a video, I've never found one. Oh, rushes. Those are going to be far more effective. Beautiful. Awesome. That'll go a little bit qu quicker. Cool. Um, <laughs> Mobile Gamer says you so cute. Thank you. Uh, Leo Play says, it's such a lucky day today. I just hit 15 subs and it's my birthday. Congrats, Leah. Happy birthday. Um, <laughs> oh, Fallout 06 says, can I get a shout out? It's my birthday today. That's a lot of birthdays today. And yes, happy birthday. Blue Chameleon says, can you ride a cow? I don't believe so, um, but I think you can hook them up to carts, I think, and I do have the ability to make carts, so we could test that out, and if not, we can always um, build ourselves a little ship and try to sail around to where we can find a horse, because um, I do want to get horses at some point as well. Um, Direwolf says, Iguana behind you is a rock that looks like the Easter Island statues. Yes. This area is, uh, good for that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Rampant Carno says, Iguana, my single player, I've seen like 30 equists, they're all dead now. Is that because you killed them, Carno? <laughs> um, Jabron says, sorry I'm late, was looking at cursed images. Interesting. Uh, Sam Bree says, I like dinosaurs more, but if you play Atlas, I'll be there. It's midnight for me, but if I can watch, I do keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Sam Bree's. That is appreciated. Uh, it's nice when people support the content that's not ARC on the game, just because it does give me a little bit of a mental break from the game sometimes, which is nice. I love ARC, but, uh, it is nice to, like, play other games and remind myself that there are other things out there in the world. Beautiful! Alright, guys, so... It says we've tamed a bull, but we've really tamed a cow. What should we name this cow? Hey, DJ Real Dill, welcome to the stream. Galori says, how many games do you have? A lot. I have like 50 on Steam alone, and then I've got, um, I do have a Switch, an Xbox, and my phone, and a PS2. So I have a lot of games between all of those. I also have an N64 and a Game Boy Color, I believe. So I have a ton of games overall. Betsy the cow, Bessie. <laughs> okay, lots of uh, good name suggestions here. Um, kind of looking, Betsy, Betsy, a lot of people like, a lot of people like Betsy. Let's go ahead and say it's Betsy. Ooh, we can actually milk Betsy. I like that idea. All right, we're going to break these trees. I don't want to hurt Betsy. I think she's okay. There we go. She's following me, but she's walking away. There we go. Okay. Um, uh, follow one. Alright, we got ourselves a cow, guys. Ivan, thank you so, so much for the super chat. That is very appreciated. And Exterminator21, thank you as well for the super chat. It says you've got some good content. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, guys, if you would thank Exterminator21 and Ivan for me in the chat, that would be very appreciated. 
doing awesome stuff here, keeping the channel running. Come on, Betsy. You can get around the turtle, I promise. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Betsy's coming, slowly. I like our new cow. I think we need to make an empty bucket so that we can milk the cow. Um... <laughs> Let's see here. Starboy Games Places. Hi, just joined. What did I what did I miss? Uh basically we've tamed ourselves up a cow, which is beautiful. And you can see one of my patrons is much more advanced. They have an actual um an actual bear going on there. I wanna like get a milk bucket and milk the cow now. And I also want to build a cart and see if we can hook the cow up to a cart, because that would be kind of cool. Um, Sean Mart says, what's your server name on Arc Mobile? I have four servers on Arc Mobile that I play on. Um, one of them is for patrons only. That's called Toast Kingdom. Uh, the other three are variations of my name. So if you just type in Iguana in the unofficial servers list, you'll see those three pop up. And those are all free access, so anybody can play on them. Well, it looks like one of our other patrons is running into some trouble out in the ocean with some ghost ships. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got our little cow coming up here. I love it. I love our new cow. It's gorgeous. Betsy's beautiful. Let's go ahead and stop her. I need to get an empty bucket. I got to figure out how to make a bucket. That's going to be the challenge here. Because I have no idea how or where to make an empty bucket. Hey, it's a guardian. <laughs> Ray PW says, Dire Bear. Yes, there is a bear. Uh, one of the patrons has been playing on the server quite a bit and has a lot of stuff, is building some really big ships, um, and has just a lot of things going on, which is awesome. Yes, this is what I want. It's a bucket. I just need wood. Ah, I'm very excited right now. <laughs> I'm going to milk this cow. DJ Real Deal says, can you ride cows? I don't think you can, Real Deal. It makes me sad, but I really don't think you can because um, you should be able to. Like, cows are rideable. Yeah, all you have is a, a milk bucket. Equip it. I have it. I don't know how to equip it on her. Or maybe I equip it on me. That would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. So I got myself uh, some milk, which is actually very handy. I'm going to go ahead and give her some berries so she doesn't uh, starve. And now I have some milk, which... Yep, yeah, I've not learned how to cook anything, but that is kind of cool that we now have this milk. Oh, and it counts as vitamin D. That's awesome. So cows are actually really handy because then you don't have to go fishing. I like that a lot. Like, a ton. That's a beautiful thing. I wonder how often you can milk them. There's not like a timer on it. That would be useful if there was a timer. Cool. Alright, so we do have a cow. Um, I don't think they're milkable. I, I, I mean, rideable. I don't think they're rideable. I'm not sure what all is rideable. I know bears are and horses are. I don't think pigs are, but pigs are kind of cool. Um... They're pretty tough little creatures. There's obviously the monkeys as well, which I could probably sneak up on and tame. Fruits and berries. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. Adam says, I killed a dodo. Oh, that's... I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> Can you tame a tiger? Starboy Gameplays. Yes, um, probably we could. It would take a lot of effort in doing, but yes, I do have the ability to tame a tiger. Um, so if you go into your skills tree, you have to go to Beast Mastery, <laughs> and there is a lot of skills you have to learn to do the taming, and so basically, um, I have learned Taming Tier 3, which allows you to tame the most powerful creatures, including, like, those tigers and things, which is really cool. Um, now the issue is, is I still don't have, I think, the stuff to tame that, uh, but that is, that's not bad. Okay, so that milk is actually pretty quick, but you can only get one. Okay. I wonder if it's a variable amount each time. 
Still, I am very happy with that. I like that I have a bucket. I like that I can get some milk. That's very neat. Uh, Connor, RK800, I do remember you. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, Mega Cartoons Man says, I just got four Rexes four hours ago. Congrats. That's awesome. All right. So we tamed a cow. I want to, I kind of want to tame a pig. I'm not sure what the best taming food for that is. I want to tame a bunch of stuff today. I would like to tame, um, I would like to tame myself an elephant, but they are on a different island, and I thought I would be able to get over there, and now I'm not so sure. We could actually take a ride here. Alright. We might go out and rescue the other patron here. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. I, I don't know how safe we'd be out on the ocean in a raft, but uh, it's definitely a possibility. Oh, cool. Looks like our other patron made it to the island. That's good. Let's see here. Uh, Gallery says, when did you start playing Ark? I started playing Ark in the second year of its early access on Steam. Uh, so that was many, many years ago now. Probably five or six years. It was quite a while. Um, and then I've been playing Ark Mobile since the beta back in April of last year. So it's been almost a year that I've been playing Ark Mobile as well. Uh, Direwolf says, see you, Iguana, love your vids always. Thank you so much, Direwolf, that is appreciated. Zazel, hello, I am doing great, how are you doing? Alright guys, let's see, um, should we try to build a ship and go somewhere we can tame something a little bit bigger? What do you think, guys? Uh, we can build, like, a small ship, I think. It'll take a little bit of crafting up, uh, because I don't have any of this stuff ready, but we definitely could do that. See, Starboy Gameplays. Yes, I do remember you. <laughs> uh, Mega Cartoons. I have shouted you out. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, Starboy Gameplays says, How can I join your server? Uh, which server? My Arc Mobile server? I have three that are free, so you don't have to do anything special to join those. And then I do have one that is for patrons only. And so to do that, um, you would have to join my patron and then I could, uh, then I could let you join those servers from there. And this Atlas server is a patron server as well. So to get access, you do have to be a patron. Weird. Okay. So there's like a lot of structures here. Um, I could build this small shipyard. I don't want to build the tiny one. I want to build the small one which is basically just fiber, stone, thatch, and wood, which is not too hard to get. I actually already have the fiber for it. Um, I believe now I have the fiber for it. So then stone, thatch, and wood, which would be pretty easy to get as well. Let's see here. <laughs> um, let's see. On your something server on Arc Mobile, people are saying they're going to wipe you. Um, if they're on my PvP server, they, they can't wipe me or I will ban them. Um, my admin server is off limits. I have had to ban people for that already, uh, because I'm a content creator, so you cannot ban the admin server. I mean, you can't raid the admin server. And then on PvX, uh, I, I have a tribe of fans on that server that have done, um, that have done a lot of work on there and they do have a pretty big base, but um, if you raid them, you're not technically raiding me because it's not, I'm like not actually playing on there actively. So I don't think I can be raided. <laughs> uh, Weasel Gaming, yes, I do remember you. Or is it Weasel or Weasel Gaming? Uh, Fury Rex, yes, I do remember you. Uh, gameplay, I am not ever going to reveal my real name. That is private information. Um, am I able to tame a wolf or a lion, please? Eric, we could uh, give that a try. We're going to have to build a little bit of a ship here in order to do that. Because those are on different islands. We're currently on a Freeport Island, so we are going to need a lot more materials before we could do that. 
All right, we need a little bit more thatch wood and stone. Wood's going to be the biggest thing, which isn't going to be too bad to get all of that, I think, because we do have pretty good, uh, pretty good, what is it, harvest rates on here. <laughs> Oscar Soda says, I wish I could donate $400 to you because you deserve it. Oh, thank you, Oscar. That is very appreciated. Even the sentiment means quite a lot to me. Um... The chameleon says, Iguana, you have to listen to Bulgarian music. I could try if you really think it's worth listening to. I mean, I'm happy to uh, give that a shot and see how that goes. Have I ever played Minecraft? Um, no, I have not ever played Minecraft. I know a lot of people really enjoy that game. Um, it's not something I love very much. I prefer things with more realistic style graphics. And so Minecraft never really appealed to me. Um, but I do know that a lot of people really love the creative aspects and all of that. So, um, it's cool by me if you like Minecraft and the people who are making fun of you need to get a life because <laughs> you're at least doing something. They're just trying to make fun of you for doing something. And that's silly. Um, flip the table says, is it even possible to go vegan in this game? Flip. I do not believe so. Or if you can, you'd probably have to find just the right items and harvest a lot of them. Myron Harris does such a nice axe. It is a beautiful axe. I love the design in this game. All of the tools look really, really good. Uh, Zazel says, for your Arc Mobile series, to play touch or with a controller, it plays so smooth compared to mine. I do play with just the screen. I don't use any sort of controller. Um... Controller's not really optimized for that game yet, so that's one of the reasons. But, yeah, I just really enjoy playing with the uh, the screen itself. Now, I am encumbered, but I don't want to drop any of this wood. <laughs> eh, I'm not that far away from my, my house. We'll just take a stroll. We'll just take a nice stroll back. <laughs> uh, Nizar Yaha says, I was one of the first people to sub. Well, thank you. Uh, Spartan says, I wish Commonwealth cards could connect to Apple Pay so I could donate. Ooh, that would be cool for sure. Yeah, it's a little bit frustrating that there's not more options for um, for ways to donate or to uh, buy things in mobile games. But it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, Crux says, does Retreat know your real or just as Iguana? Um, I think she probably knows my real name, but she's probably forgotten it. Oh, we sunk a raft. I'm pretty sure that was the one Annie just built. That's actually fine by me. That was probably a good thing. Alright, thatch and then stone. So I think we've got all the thatch now. Yes, we just need stone. And then we'll have a small shipyard and we can build a little ship. I just want something big enough to uh, carry something around on and then we should be all good. Eh, there we go. Alright, so we need to go get stone. Stone. So the best place to get stone right now, we've cleared out a lot of the stone on the map already on this part of the island, so there is some over here, back where we had tamed the cow. And I believe that's enough actually already, so there you go. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, bye, Oscar. Thanks so much for coming out. I hope you have a great day as well. Um, Eric says, bring a lot of bullets because wolves are hard to tame, but they're awesome. And if you get a whole pack, you will get the pack buff. Okay. That's good information. I do have a few bullets crafted up. Um, it wouldn't be too hard to craft more. And I would really like to tame a wolf. I can see that being a difficult thing to tame. Um, the issue is making sure I have all of the armor and stuff to put up with that. Wolves aren't too hard to kill. I have killed wolves. So maybe it's not that difficult. We'll see. Yay! I made a small ship sword, guys. We did it. Um, Gameplay says, how did you come up with the Iguana Gaming name? Iguana has been my nickname for a very, very long time. Uh, it was given to me, I believe, in middle school at some point, And it kind of just stuck. So... I've just kept using it from there on. Alright, how deep is the water here? Okay, deep enough for a small ship. Beautiful. I like that bear. It's so cute. Look at it swimming through the water. 
Oh. I thought it said small shipyard. Oh, heck. Okay, well. There we go. Uh, not the smallest shipyard in the world. This is actually quite a large ship. Let's see. I don't even know... I don't even know what I can build here. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. Build a ship here. Okay. I need to replace... Place required resources in it. Um, I'm like reading the tooltips here. Alright. Weird. No idea how the shipbuilding system works, really, because I haven't really tried much. Um, apparently Annie's got some uh, resources we can use, which will be cool. Uh, Adam says the cow eats the house. Uh, it might. Cool. Okay, so, yeah. I have no idea how to build a ship, so we're going to go ahead and... Um, Use the steps and press E. Okay. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that is a little bit confusing, but um, it's not too bad. And actually, those are really cheap resources, so I don't think it'll be hard to get all of those together. Uh, fiber, metal, thatch, and wood. I already have the metal. Fiber, thatch, and wood. Very easy to get. Very, very easy to get. Go ahead and put the metal in. I don't even know how much it was, but uh, we'll take like 10. Eh. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is like really hard to access. There we go. It's like at an awkward angle. All right, so we need fiber thatch of wood. Eh. Beautiful. Um... Let's see, Sean Mart says, what do I do now? I'm on your server. Uh, which server are you on? I guess you could just start playing the game. Bomb Girl says, Iguana, I just realized you uploaded your first video on my birthday. That would be February 28th, yes. That was the first video I ever uploaded. Uh, Viking Ishley says, hi, hello, Viking, welcome. Um... <laughs> Eric Stoyle says, does anyone know how to get on Toast Kingdom? Uh, Eric, to get on any of my Toast Kingdom servers, you do have to be a patron of the channel. Um, they are password protected. You will not be able to log on unless uh, I give you that password. So uh, if you want to become a patron, there is a link in the video description down below. And then you are welcome to join at that time. All right, here we go. There we go. Man, I don't like how finicky this is, but I uh, guess that's the game for you. Thatch and wood. We're going to build a sloop. I'm excited. It'll be like the first little ship I've actually built. <laughs> Aside from a raft, which doesn't really count. Um, Zizel says, Atlas looks fun. Never played, but want to. Atlas is kind of fun. It's a very interesting sort of game. Um... It's cool because there's not really, like, boss fights to work towards, but there are a lot of other things to work towards. For instance, right now, my character has gotten quite old. Um, you can see she's, like, a little bit wrinkly. Her hair's gone all white. And uh, what's really cool about that is that now we have this message in the lower right-hand corner of the screen um, that says, basically, we're very old and we need to seek out a fountain of youth to rejuvenate myself. So basically what we can do is get ourselves to the fountain of youth and then we can turn our character young again, which would be, which would be pretty cool. I would be pretty happy with that. Um, I don't think I'm ready to go and look for the fountain of youth though. I feel like that's going to be well guarded. <laughs> All right. Thatch and wood. More thatch. Beautiful. A sloop. Look at that. Okay, so this is how you build, like, the very first bit. I like this. Okay. Okay, this is cool. So now I need to look in the bear, because apparently you need way more materials than just the outlines. 
Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, there's tons of resources. I don't even know what we need for now. Um, I guess the fiber's light. Nope, that's really heavy. I'm gonna put that back. <laughs> yes, I do need planks. So I think I have to make those... Actually, this takes like half. No. I'm still encumbered. No? No, I'm good. Cool. Um, cool. So there are planks. I believe I can make those in the smithy, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's see here. Uh, Croc says, please, guys, subscribe, like, and comment, and stay tuned for more content. Thank you so much, Croc, for advertising that. That is very helpful. All right, we'll just uh, dump a bunch of stuff in here, and we do need planks. There we go. Cool. All right, so we made two planks, and now we just need a bunch of wood. Ugh, planks are kind of heavy. I'm not gonna lie. And we are also hungry, so... There we go. <laughs> Alright, so do we put them on the ship itself? Or do we, again, access the inventory? It's a little bit strange. I'm not sure how this, um... How this is supposed to work. Okay. No, I can't add them there. This is so weird. All right, I need to comp attach them. Does that mean I need to put them on my bar? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, that can't be it. All right, so I've attached a plank, and now I'm going to need a different kind of plank, I think. This is weird. Well, we have a uh, part of the deck put together anyway. I'm not sure I like this shipbuilding system. It's a little bit complex, and it doesn't make a ton of sense. <laughs> but it is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a little bit more of this wood. There we go. Um, let's see. Boy123 says, what is your favorite game? My favorite game is Ark. Ark is an amazing game. I enjoy it very, very much on any platform that I've played it on so far. All right, let's go ahead and put that plank back since apparently that's not what I need. Oh, here. I need these uh, small wooden planks. Duh. Let's craft one of those. And I'm also going to need, like, the steering wheel and stuff like that. So, those are not what I want. That's not what I want. Interesting. A steering wheel. So, that I will need. All right. Cool. Let's go ahead and attach this. I'm pretty sure this will fit on there. I just need to actually figure out where it goes and see how many I'm going to need to do this. Hopefully not too many. Okay, cool. So yeah, I will need, I'll need quite a few of those, but uh, I think that's gonna, that's definitely gonna start bringing this thing together. It'll be, it'll be in good shape once I get that all put together. Ugh. Don't like that I fall through the ship. That's really weird. Cool. So I need small wooden planks. It all makes sense now. All right, um, let's see. Uh, what's my favorite animal, Weasel Gaming? My favorite animal is definitely the, um, uh, I was gonna, like, answer for Ark like I normally do and say Iguanodon, but, um, yeah, IRL, it's, Iguanas are really, really cool, but I actually really love the Model Falcon. Um, it's a very pretty creature that I love very much, and... They are, I believe, an endangered falcon as well, which is kind of cool. All right, we'll just put those there. Makes life easy. Okay, I love when it rains on this game. It's not frightening at all. <laughs> cool. 
cool. All right, that's coming together. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. So that was four. I'm probably gonna need um, a couple, maybe like 10 of those more extra, which is not too bad. And the sloop I think is actually big enough that I could put a creature on it. Uh, DJ Real Dis says Iguana would be good at Skyrim. I actually do play Skyrim and I love it. I haven't played it in a long time, but uh, Skyrim is a very good game indeed. I'm not sure that I was ever good at it per se, but I did like it. All right, it's with the wood. It's always with the wood. All right, go kill some trees here. Um, Warhead Fun says, all toast is reserved to iguana. This is true, Warhead. It really is. <laughs> um, Purple Diamond says, am I the only one sitting and watching the video while the chat goes crazy? Probably not. Uh, there's usually a few people who lurk and don't really say much, but yeah, the chat, the chat always goes crazy on my streams, which I really love. Um, Little Grape says, you need about 14 more. Awesome. Oh, it's cold now. That's not good. All right. Let's go ahead and head back over here. Eh. I can't craft those here. Zazel says that's a smexy looking boat so far. It is a smexy looking boat. I like that it's a sloop. Um, I like how fancy everything looks on this game, honestly. Except for, I mean, even the thatch looks way better than it does on Ark. It's, like, all woven together, which is kind of cool. Alright, so are we actually freezing? I know there's a cold front, but I don't know if we're actually freezing. Because that might change what I need to do here. Alright, three more. Beautiful. And then I'm actually low on three thatch, so I will need to go and gather quite a bit more thatch, which is not going to be too hard. Am I going to die from this? It's a cold front. Oh yeah, I'm, I have hypothermia. I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, good stuff. So I do have fur armor in my smithy. I may actually go and equip that once I get these down. Um, I already, did I, didn't I already equip that one? No. Ah. Okay. Perfect. So that's one side of the ship almost done. Can I get out of here? There we go. Eh. All right. Um. Oh, Annie's got the ceiling for me. Awesome. Grab that before we freeze to death. Let's see here. Can you do Sarko breeding? Um, yes, I could do Sarko breeding. I would actually really like to do that. That would be kind of fun. I actually plan to do that once the Swamp Castle is complete, is do a little bit of um, Sarko breeding, do some berry breeding. Kind of do, uh, just getting a few of those things together I think would be really cool. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of wooden ceilings. There. Hopefully. Nope, she died. Um, it looks like I'm still losing health as well. No, that's... Ah! That's not what I want. There we go. It all got confusing. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put on my fur armor and hopefully I won't die. Um... Beautiful. And now I'm right next to the fire. Is that going to work? I'm still wet, which doesn't help. I don't think so. I don't think I'm dying of hypothermia anymore. I don't think. That's good. That's very good indeed. Oh, man. Okay, cool. So, unfortunately, that means we are stuck here for a minute, but I'll go ahead and eat some stuff. Um... Let's see here. Croc says, I might join your Twitter soon. That would be awesome, Croc. I do like my Twitter. Um, I usually retweet things that the game devs have been saying about Arc Mobile. 
Uh, let's see here. What do I prefer, the Sarko or the Capro? I really like... That's a hard question. The Capro is faster, but it can't carry as much. I do like the jump ability, but the jump ability does come with some performance issues, especially on mobile, so that's a little bit difficult. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to say. I think I would prefer the Sarko if it was TLC passed like it is on PC. That would be ideal. So we're very encumbered right now, which is fine by me. I can live with that. But we're also encumbered because this is such heavy armor. Oh my goodness. I don't like that. <laughs> wonder if I can drop a bunch of things. Uh, I don't need all of this stuff on me. It's the ceilings. All right, I'll put like half the ceilings back. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Hey, look, it's an ostrich. Very cool. You can apparently ride ostriches on this game, which is, uh, that's neat. Let's see here. Um, Ghost says, did you see I made an army of 60 dodos? Ghost, I did not. Uh, is that on the patron server? Because that's amazing. <laughs> I, I love the dodos, honestly. They are making me so, so happy. Cool. All right, that's the deck all built up. Very nice. Um, actually, wait, do I need one out there too? Do I? Uh, that doesn't make much sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. I don't see why I would need one out the back. Nope, nope, nope. I can't target it. <laughs> Probably gonna have to break the ceiling. I don't think I need the ceiling. Oh, uh, there we go. Um, I don't think I need it, right? It's weird. I don't know why it let me snap it there. All right, well, I'll leave it for now. It looks really strange, but, um, who knows, maybe it is supposed to be part of the ship. I'm pretty sure it's not, but eh, who can tell? Cool, so we have an actual deck now. Uh, so we just need a few more of those side planks and then we should be all set to go. Now it does look like the cold front's over or nope, the cold front's still going on. I'm just uh, in my fur armor, so I'll be okay. Go ahead and put these wooden ceilings back so that I can grab a little bit more wood. Beautiful. Ah. Ah. Pigs. I'd hit them, but then they'd attack me. Um, White Eye Fox Gaming says, have you and Retreen been talking? Yes, White Eye. Uh, Retreen and I talk quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, she works a lot, so it's not as much lately, but uh, we do still chat, especially on the discords. Killer Rad says, play more Arc Mobile, please. I play a lot of Arc Mobile. Don't worry about that, Killer Rad. The Arc Mobile content um, is never going to stop coming, um, at least not in the near future. Until the audience dies out for it, I will not stop playing it. <laughs> uh, Minecraft lover, thank you so much. That is very appreciated. Nina Art says, Master Arrow on the stream, too. No, Master Arrow and Retreen have their own server. This is a separate server, so I cannot play directly with them on it. Um, unless they choose to join, which I don't think they would do since they've got their own thing going on. I need these. I needed thatch. Why did I get a bunch of wood when I needed thatch? Eh, that's okay. We'll just head back up here and break a few more things. <laughs> Let's see here. Um... Why so Gaming says, I think Atlas looks more realistic than Ark. Do you, Iguana? Um... Yes, actually, Weisel, I do think that um, Atlas has Atlas has a lot of elements that are more realistic than in Ark, uh, particularly with the creatures that they've incorporated. Most of them are far more realistic than you would find in the Ark game. Um, a lot of the structures and things as well are, are quite a bit more realistic looking. Uh, the houses look better. Like, everything is... 
a little bit more intricate. The water certainly looks better. I think that's the biggest difference is that the water looks, um, looks quite real for a game, which is impressive. All right. Um, so Zell says, I just want to say I found you a week or two ago when I started playing ARK on mobile. And I love your videos. Keep up the great work and have a new fan here. Oh, thank you so much, Zazel. I'm really glad you're enjoying the content. And yeah, I do plan to keep making it. So I hope you continue to enjoy it as well. All right. Now I have all the thatch. How many of these can I make? Now I'll just make all of them. I'm probably going to need them all at some point. All right. <laughs> um, Ghost says, Iguana, you got a new fan. My best friend in real life is watching you now. Oh, awesome, Ghost. Tell them I said hello. Um, hey, it's my parrot. It's blue. I'm excited. This is one of the parrots I tamed in the last stream. I didn't realize it had survived that long, so I'm very happy to see Blue is alive and well and hanging out with us. Alright, perfect. This ship is... it looks like this loop is almost done. I can see how this would be a very time-consuming process, especially on official servers. It would be kind of a pain. Uh... Oh, I guess I needed that open for... A reason. Nope. Beautiful. Got it. The hole is complete. Now I need to add a steering wheel. I am not sure how to tell once this thing is ready to launch. Um, yeah, I think we need sails and a steering wheel. Sails and a steering wheel. I like this. I can kind of crawl down in the belly of the ship. That's handy. I should probably put a bed on here as well, just to kind of keep track of it. Eh. Alright, so let's go make that steering wheel. And possibly a sail. I do have the loom made up, so I should be that should be pretty easy as well. Um, will I be making merch soon? I'm waiting for the iguana on a shirt eating toast. White Eye Fox, yes. Um, I I do have an artist working on the merchandise. Uh they're currently working on the banner for the channel and then shortly after that we will be coming up with several merchandise designs so it's still a work in progress it will take some time but uh, never you fear it is definitely coming so uh, yeah look forward to that in the future why are my tooltips not showing I don't understand. Oh, man, that bear shakes everything. It's not showing me what I need to make to craft these. And I feel like I hit a button. I definitely hit a button wrong. There we go. Perfect. Uh, fiber, hide, and wood. That's easy. We can take half of those for now. I think I have more in here. What do I need? Wood. That's ironic. I just had a bunch of wood. All right. Uh, fiber and then hide as well, which I know I have some. I know I have more than this. That's some hide. That's some hide. We can always go hunting if we need more for sure. All right. Plenty of hide, and then wood and fiber. So now we should have the fiber. Now we just need a little bit of wood, and we'll have a sail. Oh, I'm excited. This is such a process. <laughs> uh, bye, YSL. Thanks so much for coming out. Um, let's see. <laughs> that also says launch now and see where you go. Oof, yeah, that would be good. Pretty sure the ship would sink immediately. Um, or we just wouldn't go anywhere. That would be, uh, kind of sad. All right. There we go. All the wood. All the wood because we're going to need it for both of these things. We're going to need it for the steering wheel and for the sail. Um. Where Fun says, is it bad that the ship probably won't last very long? Ah, no. That's, uh, that's how these types of games go, Warhead. I'm kind of expecting it, so I'm not... 
I'm not trying to get too attached to anything at the moment. Uh, oh, Annie just dropped a bunch of stuff off. Cool. That works out very well. Beautiful. Got ourselves a sail. I think there should only be one on this type of ship, if I'm not mistaken. Have to keep leaping over blue. All right. And then I need the ship thingy. The steering wheel. Um, Nina says, where is your cuddle bear BA? Uh, BA is actually on the server. He is a patron of the channel now. And he is, um, oh, the sails have to be certain ones. Okay, well, I have the small common handling sail. Hopefully that's good. Uh, so BA is actually on the server or was on the server. He's trying to find us right now. Um, he did start playing Atlas, and so he's actually playing right now, which I think is why he's not in the chat itself. All right. Um... Trying to think of what to say here. Uh, cool. We'll ask that. Oh, so you need like a hatch frame? Yeah, wood ceiling doorway. Okay, that makes sense. All right, where can I put this? Anywhere? Oh, I could put this literally anywhere. Does it snap anywhere? This will drive me crazy if it's not steady, so I don't know why it would be able to be placed anywhere. That's pretty centered. I think that'll work. Oh boy. Required sale units, one. Um... Alright, if I need a small handling sail, where should that go? I actually don't even know if this is the right sail, so I think I need two sails, so I'm going to need a handling sail and then an actual sailing sail, so the major one should probably go in the center and the handling one should either go in the front or the back. I'm not sure which. Um, cool. This is crazy. Like, I feel like they need uh, much better detailed instructions for building ships. I like that there is some, like, I don't know, I guess uh, flexibility to the ship building, but I'm also not sure if I like that it might not work if you don't do it right. So that's a little bit tricky. Um, White Eye Fox Gaming says, who's your oldest subscriber you remember? My oldest subscriber ever, I do remember them. They were the very first person that watched and started commenting on my original Scorched Earth videos back when I first started making videos. Um, and I cannot remember their name off the top of my head. It was a very strange name. I think it started with a B, and they've changed their channel name since then, but uh, they were my very first ever real subscriber and uh, they were very encouraging, and so I do miss that person quite a lot. I have not seen them around much since then. Um, yeah, it's been it's been quite a few months since I've heard directly from them. Um, <laughs> Starboy Gameplay says thirty nine people are watching your stream. That is not very many for me. Uh, Cameron McCarthy says, "Can you tell me a name for my red male Rex?" Um, Let's see, a red male Rex. Is it like a bright red or a dark red? It's kind of a... It's a good color. Maybe you could name it something like um, Ares. That would be cool. Like the God of War. That would be awesome. Alright, I think she's got the sails going. I'm not sure which sails she thought I needed. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Small speed sail. Yes. That will be useful. Awesome. I do need speed. I do need speed. Uh, let's see here. Have I ever played GTA 5? No, I have not. Um, no, I really haven't. I should check that out, though. There's a lot of games I haven't played, unfortunately. Cool. That makes me happy. All right. 
Is she placing another one? I'm not sure. Okay, and the one goes up there. All right, so I believe right here, like that. My uh, two sail sloop here. Nice. So I think is that everything? <laughs> I have no idea if that's everything or not. It would be very cool if it was. I think that's got to be most of it, because it's... It looks done to me. I don't know if it's shipworthy, though. Beautiful. That was fun. Um, let's see. Axel says, if there's a horse in that island, tame it, please. I don't think there are any horses on this island. Otherwise, I absolutely would tame one. Um, we do have a couple of bears. We have a lot of pigs and cows and seagulls, but there's not a whole lot else on this particular island, unfortunately. All right, let's see. Uh, bye, ghost. Thanks so much for coming out, and cool, you're coming back. Awesome. Uh, Why Day Fox Gaming says, do you have the Nintendo? Do you mean the Nintendo Switch? Yes, uh, I do have one of those. I'm getting a capture card so that I can add that kind of content to the channel if there's interest in it. I'm going to go pick some uh, fiber while I'm out here. Can never have enough fiber on this game, I've decided. Uh, don't release it yet. Okay. I won't. I feel like I'm missing something, but I, I have no idea what. <laughs> uh, Eric says, another thing, if you tame a lion, it can hold anything from a wolf and below that size in its mouth. And it's great for taming wolves, by the way, and you still need bullets and meat. Oh, awesome, Eric. Thank you so much. Um, that is a good tip, and I am going to have to tame myself a lion for sure. Um, Zazel, thank you so much. I think the boat look great, looks great as well. It was actually really fun to build. I don't do a whole lot of... Um, don't do a whole lot of building and crafting on this game so far, and so this is the first actual, like, little ship that I've built, and I'm actually happy with it. It's cool that it's, um, it's cool that it has, like, an actual structure, obviously, because otherwise my boat would come out looking horrible, but, uh, I really do like this. It's pretty. It looks nice. It's interesting that you have to, like bring together all these different pieces to make it and it doesn't tell you which ones exactly you need oh cool a ladder that's useful um let's see Ned gaming says is this game like arc this game has a lot of similar mechanics to arc um and it does have a lot of survival elements and some taming elements but overall it is still a very different game from arc in terms of how it actually plays out which is kind of cool Chuck Stu says, is this on mobile? No, this is on PC. Uh, Rich Robinson, thank you so much for subscribing. That is very appreciated. Um, let's see here. Snowy Boy says, uh, Atlas, it's a game made by Wildcard, but different. It's similar in many ways. Uh, yeah, it's actually made by a lot of the same people as Wildcard, but it's actually a different company called Grapeshot. I don't know why they decided to rebrand themselves. Um, there really was no point, but they did. So they have uh, the Grape Shot team now is uh, basically making Atlas while Wildcard still develops Arc. It's a little bit confusing trying to keep track of all the companies involved. Wysla Gaming says, have you tamed an elephant? No, I almost had one tamed in the last stream, but for whatever reason, like, it did not want to tame up. Like, we had it knocked down, we had it bullied, and I couldn't feed it. Like, it wouldn't let me feed it. Um, I would like to do that soon. I'm not sure I'll be able to do that this stream, unfortunately, because I am severely undergeared for that, but uh, definitely someday it's my goal to tame an elephant. Um, Axel says, I'm going to a party. I'm sorry, I've to miss most of the stream. That is okay, Axel. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, Eric says, they need Atlas Hubble and all of the series for ARC. Uh... Yes, I think that would be cool if they had all of the DLCs and things for ARC on mobile, but 
Arc on mobile is a very intensive game for your for your phone to handle. Um, Atlas certainly I don't think would ever work because of the upgraded graphics. Like these would never translate well to the mobile game at all. Um, the engine is just too strong for I think the mobile game to handle for the most part. As well as the graphics are um, the graphics and the mechanics. It's just too much for mobile. The DLC maps I could see maybe coming to mobile from Ark, but again, there's some certain things in there that are very difficult for a mobile game to handle, and like the island is a small map, and it's not very complicated, and even that is hard for most devices to play on without crashing regularly. So I can see it not, I can see those maps not ever coming to mobile. I do hope that mobile eventually gets a new map. That would be cool. Non-existent says, have you ever played Sims? I have. Um, I don't play very much, but I have played it. Um, let's see here. Uh, Cameron says, I love all your videos. Thank you so much. That is very appreciated. Little Grape says, did you say Grape Shot? Yes, I did. <laughs> it's the name of the company. Starboy Gameplay says, tame a dragon. Oof, I would... That is actually the ultimate goal, is to tame a dragon on Atlas, because they are on here. And I do want one, because that would be amazing. Um, okay, I don't know why we removed a plank. Okay, we needed the ladder and the hatch frame. That makes sense. Crouch down into the sloop. I really, this ladder does not help me at all. I don't know why I need it. It's making it harder to get up. Eh. Yes, I am stuck. <laughs> Why did we add this? Oh boy. Not good. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why we even have the ladder there. It makes no sense. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see here. Um... Nacho had said we can some part of the whole screen on Atlas. Uh, wait, oh, is Atlas not showing you the whole screen? Oh, it's not. It's showing you only part of the screen. Apologies, guys. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the game really hates me, um, or Streamlabs really hates me, and it does not like to put the game screen the way it should. So let me see if I can fix that real quick. At least a little bit. It's going to be a little bit funky for a second. I do apologize. There we go. That's, that's better. <laughs> you can see a little bit more of the screen now. Yeah, I don't know why Streamlabs is doing that to me lately. It's, uh, it's cutting off part of the game screen and making it very difficult to actually stream well. I can't believe I didn't catch that. Thank you so much, Nacho. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, wait, where's Mr. Squatch? <laughs> I didn't see him pop in. Hey, Lightning King, how's it going? Cool. Interesting. I have no idea, like, what Annie's doing with this build, but it's, uh, I'm sure, I assume she's doing some sort of magic that will make this ship work well. Yep. I have, I have no idea what's happening right now. I'll crouch down as well. I'm sure that's a good idea. <laughs> cool. All right, so I think we're trying to figure out the best place to put the hatch frame so we can get into the hold of the ship. I can see that being a good idea. I can definitely see that being a good idea. Um, Cameron McCarthy says, can I have a cookie? Yes, you can have a cookie. Of course. <laughs> Non-existent says, why are you so good at this game and how do you get good? Can you give me some tricks? Uh, Non-existent, I am not very good at this game. I know almost nothing about it, really, because um, I haven't watch too many tutorials myself, so I'm kind of stumbling my way through it, but uh, tips to get good at it are definitely to 
kill stuff and harvest stuff and stash it early on. So as soon as you can, um, get some storage boxes, get a raft with a bed, and just start stashing stuff because you are going to need so many materials to advance in this game. And for the skill tree, um, it kind of depends on what you want to do, but the first things you should do are definitely like the basics, tools of the trade, um, construction, and then you want to learn handyman, chemicals, and tanning, and the basics of building. Those are going to give you uh, probably the best start to this game you can do. And then from there, um, you have to spec into different things to get taming versus shipbuilding versus uh, piracy and stuff like that. There's some really cool skills that you can gain. Um, <laughs> Why is everyone trying to steal my toast? All the toast is mine, guys. Uh, Mr. Squatch says, it seems like if I click stretch to fit screen, it usually fixes it best, but different resolution settings are messing up mine, too. Yeah, Mr. Squatch, I have no idea why, like, Streamlabs updated, and then all of a sudden it lost the ability to figure out what a full screen window was and how to fit it into their full screen window when you were streaming. So I don't know why, and it makes zero sense at all, but uh, there you go. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I actually do need to level up here probably going to level either health or stamina or weight probably weight weight's very useful all right and then i'm kind of debating what i want to spec into i've already done a lot in beast mastery uh so i do have piracy stuff which is kind of cool i could shovel i could get more stuff um there's also captaineering which could be very interesting uh, seamanship, which is what helps you build the sails, I believe. Yeah. Cool. So these are the different uh, types of sails that you can build, which are obviously useful for a number of reasons. Oh, yeah, you can make a schooner with this, which seems like it would take forever. And then you can make gun ports. Oh, wow. I can make a dinghy. <laughs> It would be useful to have a dinghy, but um, I don't have the larger ships, so I can't do that just yet. Awesome. I'm debating between trying to be able to build bigger ships and doing something a little bit more immediately useful, like uh, weapons and stuff. A B A Lag, yes. Lag is a problem. Mr. Squatch says, we shall go on strike from Streamlabs. I... I mean, we could, but I honestly believe that it would be very difficult to stream without Streamlabs. Um, I just need to be more careful about setting up my stream, which sucks because it takes extra time, but uh, it is what it is, right? Alright, so I have absolutely no idea what Annie has done with the ship or why. Oh, we have a ladder. That's nice. Oh, we can get up! That's very handy. I like that. It's a little weird. To have a hole in the ship. But it's not so bad. It's not bad at all. It's, it's okay. You can actually get up and down. That's good. Um, <laughs> make Mr. Squatch a mod. Uh, Nacho, actually, yeah, I probably should. Assuming this is the real Squatch. There we go. Cool. Um... All right, pull that back up. There we go. <laughs> Lightning says, did I ask Wardrum about your toast item yet? Um, yeah, pretty sure they're not going to add a toast item, which makes me sad, but I, I do understand why they wouldn't, um, <laughs> why they wouldn't add one. They need a ladder. Oh, no. I don't know that I know. There it is. I just need some wood. I can bring them a ladder if I have the wood. Eh. I just need like six more wood. I can, I need to go smash a tree real quick. Um, bye, Weasel. Thank you so much for coming out and watching today. <laughs> Let's see here. Nacho says, King, I actually told Kitty she noted, but no promises. She caught on to me. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, uh, Keys kind of knows what's up. It's kind of, uh, funny there. Nacho, wait, you actually asked Keys about the toast item. That's great. Um, 
Croc, Iguana, did you ever ask Wardrum for my uh, two-player Seco saddle? Croc, yes, I did make that suggestion. Um, I don't know that they'll do anything with it, because uh, Wardrum does ultimately have a lot of things on their plate, but they definitely did do that, so... I'm gonna make this ladder... Eh. Even if Annie got out already. Ugh, here we go. Nope, she's stuck. She is very stuck. Uh, there? Does that work? Beautiful! There we go. I think we can get down there and climb uh, up and down, which is the goal of having a hole in the ship, is to be able to get down into the hold. It's funny how your head sticks out. I feel like they should have made this ship just a little bit deeper. Just a little bit. <laughs> or made it so that uh, it was easier to get up and down the ladders, for sure. You can kind of crouch in the hold here. All right. Very nice. Ah. Cool. I like it. Are we all set then? Is the ship done? If the ship is done, we should definitely take it for a test drive. I feel like that should be a thing. I'm also starving. Yes, I do see the point now, Annie. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so I need to... Okay, cool. So I think the ship is ready to go. I think I just need a few more veggies to take, and then we should be all good. BA says my ship thinks it's a submarine. BA, did your ship sink? <laughs> That's the worst. Um, cool Kid says, I just started watching you the other day. I love your channel. Thank you so much, and welcome. I hope you do enjoy the content on it. <laughs> Um, Leah Plays Game says, how do you get mod because I can't really get in your stream every time because it's like 5.43 for you and it's 22.43. Um, so the mod I don't give out very often. I only give it to people who are either other content creators that I know will uphold the rules or people who have been on the stream, on the channel for a long time who have uh, done a lot of answering of questions in the chat and generally been good at keeping the peace and keeping people from uh, being crazy. Those are the people who get mod, and it does take me months to make somebody mod, so don't be too sad if you're uh, not a mod. I also don't want my whole stream to be taken over by mods, so there is that. Uh, Julio the Fulio says, Atlas on mobile. Uh, that would be amazing, but no, Atlas is not on mobile, and I don't think it will be anytime soon. All right, how do I launch this ship? Hold E on the ship or dock. Okay. You want to change the one sail? All right. Okay. I have no idea what to. We have a speed sail and we have like this uh, handling sail. Okay, so we'll just have two speed sails instead of handling. That's fine. That makes sense. Um, all right, let's see here. Bye, Cameron. Thanks so much for coming out and watching today. Uh, Palm Girl says, I gotta go help my mom put Christmas decorations in the shed. Thank you so much for coming out, Palm, and yeah, good luck with that. Rutreen says, I never bring food on a boat, I just wing it. Rutreen, how many boats have you lost? <laughs> just as a question there. Cecilia, welcome back. Um, Eric says, is it worth trading my level 130 Rex for an Ascendant Fabricated Shotgun? No, Eric, keep the Rex. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Mr. Squatch says, I will uphold the law. <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. Hey, and Arrow's here as well. Thank you, everyone, for stopping in. Man, I feel like it's been a long time since we've had all of the mods on the ship. I mean, on the pff, ship. On the stream. So that's kind of cool. And I'm very happy to see you all. All right, we now have all of the speed sails. Oh, it's foggy. 
That makes me nervous. I was going to just, like, launch the ship and go somewhere, and now it's all foggy, and I don't feel safe doing that. At least it's not raining yet, because rain would be a big problem. I'm ready now. Awesome. Okay. Guys, we're going to launch the ship. Um, probably can't go anywhere until the fog dies down, but we're definitely going to launch it. Ah! Cool. All right, so what should we name this sloop, guys? <laughs> Era says, we've had two boats sink. Nice. It says, Elsa, super fast boat. What are you going to name it? I don't know, guys. We need name suggestions. If you have name suggestions for our new sloop, uh, let me know. Um, Big Mesa Boy, I will not steal the spaghetti. I only care about the toast, so you are safe there. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. Launch the boat in the rain. Retreat. That would be great, right? Um, Iguana Crew Toasterina. <laughs> Little Grape says the wind is not on your side. It is not, but it never is. Name it King Toast. Mm, there are no kings in the Toast Kingdom. There is only the Queen. Uh, the Kraken. The Kraken is pretty good. Toastalion. I like that. Sloop de doo <laughs> Rootery, and I do like that name. Sloop de doo is pretty good. Sloop the Boop. Oh, that's funny. I might name it Boop the Sloop. Because we have to boop the sloop a lot. I like that. This is equally funny, and I'm happy with it. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I want to just go straight forward. I don't know if this will actually get me out of here. Very, very slowly and carefully, I'm going to try to inch my way out of the shipyard. Just to kind of get it out of the way. Yes. The wind is against us, but this is good because now my ship isn't getting smashed against the walls, which I'm pretty happy with. Is my anchor down? Do I need to pull the anchor up? How do I do that? Uh, oh, I need to repair that. No, I don't need to lower the anchor. Okay. I could steer, but I don't need to do that either. Beautiful. Okay. We're moving. It's good. I feel like this is going to be a lot to handle just by yourself. I really do wish there were more ways to, um do this single player. I like the idea of having, of having like a crew that can like move the ship for you, but at the same time, that is so much extra people and work to have on the game. So it's a little bit frustrating. I do want to repair that. Yes. Hey, we did it. We're out. Um, unfortunately it is super foggy. There we go. And lower anchor. Cool. Awesome. So now we're very still. Um, the ship is now anchored. We uh, do have it all built up. I'm pretty excited about Boop the Sloop here. This is pretty good. Let's go ahead and make a bed to put on it. Um, and we'll kind of try to wait for the fog and the night to pass. And then maybe we can actually go somewhere. Although I do think I probably should... Oh, I probably should add ladders so I can get um, up and down the ship. I didn't think about that. I don't know if I'll be able to hop onto the ship. I didn't think about it. Will I be able to add a ladder after? Probably not. No. Awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> um... Hopefully I can add a ladder afterwards. That's so strange. All right. Let's see. <laughs> uh, who will be my new heir when I die? I will never die. Iguanas are immortal. Didn't anyone ever tell you that, Nacho? Can I? Okay. Yes. I can add... I can add a ladder to it after, which is going to be handy. The problem is figuring out 
how to hold still long enough in the water to get it to snap where I want it to. There. Beautiful. Okay. I'm happy with that. I can get up and down. It's all good. Things are, things are pleasing. The ship is good. <laughs> Alright, so now I just need to go ahead and set up a bed, unless, unless Annie's doing that. Oh no, she's getting storage chests. Cool. Alright, what do I need to make a bed? Hide. I need hide. I actually don't think I have any hide, so we might have to go hunt something. Eh. Make it up. I don't like being cold. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can find... I'll check my uh, base real quick to see if there's any hide, and if not, we will have to go and kill something. Um, Eric says, I'm sad. Why? <laughs> uh, Eric says, there's a built-in ladder on your boat. Look at the back middle until you see emergency ladder. Oh, interesting. I still like having the ladder that I can see on the side. That's going to be handy to have multiple ways to get up. Like Annie's trying to give me something here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's more than enough. Perfect. Uh, everyone's just saying hi now. What is happening? Uh, Not King says hello, Iguana. Hello, Not King. Welcome. How are you doing? Perfect. All right. The bear is vicious and very strong. <laughs> Need to get myself one of those. Is there an emergency ladder? I don't see it. This is at the back of the ship. Nope. I think you're crazy, Arrow. I don't see an emergency ladder built into this. This is going to be far more effective. Oh man, I don't like how much you move. I don't care if it's realistic, it's frustrating. Okay. Let's go ahead and set this bed down somewhere. Um, I'll probably set it off to the side by one of these sails. That would be a good place for it. Or maybe at the very back. I don't know why it wants to place there and not um, in the center, but that's all right. As long as it's there, we should be okay. Cool. It's all set. And now have a place. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, do I know what I will do with my channel when I'm done with it? Why did I fox? Um, I don't plan to be done with my ship any, I mean, with my channel anytime soon. Um, if I ever did decide to stop making content, I would probably just stop. I would keep the channel as is and let it slowly die off. Um, yeah, I can't see that I would, I can't see that I would really do anything with it. I don't think I would delete it for sure. Uh, BA says, I give up. I won't be joining the stream today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, BA. I'm sorry that the game has been uh, giving you trouble. Yeah, the servers are a little bit tricky. Arrow says, oh. Well, fine. If that's what you say. That's a little weird, but uh, there we go. We have an emergency ladder. <laughs> that's strange but you can only you can only release it when you're on the top of the boat which makes no sense I don't know it looks better without it anyway I like my side ladder my side ladder is good it is appropriate alright <laughs> um let's see Not King says I like your videos keep up the good stuff thank you so much Not King that is very appreciated uh, Zeron the Gamer, hello and welcome. All right. Um, Cecilia says, cheese, or I'll eat you for dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh. The chat's getting weird, guys. I like it. Okay. Annie had said I needed one more thing. 
I'm not sure what it is I needed. Uh, it is pretty late in the day, as far as I can tell. What time is it? Yeah, it's like in the middle of the night, so we may have to hang out for a little bit longer um, till it lightens up before we try to go anywhere. Um... <laughs> Fury Rex says you keep saying ship. Yes, Fury Rex, I have a great ability to do word association, and so if I am sitting here looking at a ship, I will say ship when I mean other things, because I'm trying to talk about other things, but I'm thinking about my ship, so I'll just keep saying ship in the wrong place. It's great. This is how my brain works. You guys have a rare glimpse. Um, Legion Gaming says, hi, Iguana, thanks for tuning in with Squatch and me. You're going to have more OP Spinos tonight. Oh, thank you, Legion. I cannot wait to see him. I'll have to stop in at the next stream and uh, see how all those Spinos are doing. Squatch did send me a picture of the completely dyed up Iguana Spino, which I think looks absolutely amazing. All right. <laughs> um... Eric says, rip Teddy. Uh, Eric, why rip Teddy? Teddy's fine. Teddy's right here. The bear is good. See? It's a good little bear. It's very cute. He's very soft. I would like to pet him. Um, let's see here. King says, dropping it from on the boat makes a ton of sense. Yes, but it doesn't make a ton of sense that you don't have any other way up on the boat if you go overboard. That's what doesn't make sense. There should always be a way up onto the ship if you go overboard. Um, so the emergency ladder, sure, but, like, if you don't have a crew, like, how are you supposed to be able to do things? I don't know. That's kind of my point there. <laughs> um, Not King says, I'm bad at Arc Mobile. Do you have tips? Not King, just practice. Um... Playing a lot is going to do you so much good in the long run if you just, uh, yeah, keep practicing at it because the controls are probably the hardest thing to get the hang of. Um, and then once you kind of get the hang of the controls, uh, it's really just a matter of getting comfortable with basically all of the mechanics. So um, it can take a lot of time to learn how to do all of the stuff on ARC. Um, but it's, it's definitely fun, and it's definitely worth it in the long run. All right. I think we're all set, guys. I think we have everything we need to do this. Uh, Not King, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel, and I do hope that you are enjoying the content today. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see. 314. We're almost daylight. Um, Actually, wait. I need... I have some bolas. I feel like I need some bolas. Alright, I have a couple of spare planks. I get some spare hide. I have plenty of food. The issue is I have nothing to do once I'm out there. Let's go ahead and grab some of that stuff. Eh, can I get up? There we go. Beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna come up this way. And I'm going to grab myself um, a few of the bolas that I've crafted up, just in case we find something we want to tame. I'll grab all of them, and a saddle, because you never know. We might tame something that we can ride with a saddle. I, I don't know what that would be, but we might be able to do something. Alright. Let's go. I think we're going to sail away, guys. Uh... I hope we end up on an island with horses, and I hope we manage to avoid all of the things that want me dead out in the ocean, which is probably the hardest part, but uh, there you go. All right, raise anchor. The wind is against us, so I guess we're going to sail south. All right, we're going to start moving slowly forward. Um, once we get out the point, we can... Um, yeah, once we get around the edge of the island there, we can actually start moving forward a little bit more. Unfortunately, if I turn the sail, it will, in fact, push me into the rocks, which I do not want. Oh, cool, I have a water barrel. That's useful. All right, this is going to be a slow process getting out of here. I can see that already. Uh... 
fully open. Beautiful. Flapping in the wind uselessly. Hey, we're sailing. <laughs> All right, we do need to get a crew member eventually. All right, so I've been to that island. Um, yeah, if we take a look at the map here, I can kind of show you guys. So I've been to the island immediately north of us, and I've been to a few other islands, but I've not been in the south much. So this is the whole server map at the moment. Um, so I would like to go to the south and see what's out there a little bit. Sail past the island, um, and then once the wind is with us, we can always turn and come back a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and rotate them about this way. All right. Wait, no, I need to like steer. Steer. There we go. Okay. I think there's a shark in the water. That's good. Yes. I think. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there's a ghost ship already. What? That is not what I want. I don't want to go near the ghost ship. That's garbage. Okay. Oh, man, this makes me nervous. I actually really don't want to hit the, uh, the island. And I really don't want to mess with the ghost ship. Not good. Not good at all. I can see why this is very difficult to do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, let's... Oh, man. I'm going to be so, so stuck. Okay, rotate sails back to this way. Um, all right, let's go ahead. Fully open. And let's go ahead and use the steering wheel. All right. Nope, 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 nope. Stay with the wind. Stay with the wind. We're going to go south, and then we're going to turn left, and we're going to avoid the ghost ship, because we're going to stay really, really close to the island and not touch that. VA says I wasn't even at the right island. Uh, VA, yeah, it's, it's very difficult to tell what island you're at, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, Zazel says, Iguana, what's your goal with your channel if you have one? Um, my current goal with the channel is actually to hit 25k subs, and then eventually 50k subs would be the end goal. Um, I think for, for some amount of time, I would like that. Alright, there we go. Okay, ghost ship's over there. I don't like this red sky business. And that's the server wall, so we shouldn't sail through that. And then the wind's not with us. What? Cool. This makes no sense. Hold on. I gotta, like, check my map here. Oh, a heat wave's coming. That's good. Alright, what? Why? Why is there a wall of water there? When my servers, like, I don't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. I'm very confused. I'm very confused indeed. All right. Well, it is what it is. We're a sitting duck right now, which is great. Um, I mean, the only way we can go is towards the corner of that without being dead in the water, which kind of is terrible. All right. I guess we're going to sail this way, or we could try, but we have no wind with us. Ugh. I don't like this. <laughs> this game is so difficult. Um, Little Grave says the wind knows the way. Yeah, the wind is trying to push me straight towards that ghost ship, so I don't think so. Um, on top of that, it's trying to push me into the corner of the server, which I didn't realize was the corner of the server, which is also no good. Eh. Oh, that's a big wave. Big waves. This is not good. 
The only way I can go is literally nowhere. <laughs> Not just as Atlas probably needs maintenance. Not Atlas always needs uh, maintenance. Um, let's see. Legion Gaming said, yeah, I'd work on getting offended before Ochin <laughs> Warfare. You got this. You're a pro toast. Uh, yeah, definitely need some more uh, work on the sailing business. I really, really don't like the wind system because it makes it so hard. Like, I get that they were going for realism, but there's a point at which realism becomes not fun, and I think this game is crossing that line with the sailing system needing so many people and the wind being constantly against you. Uh, like, <laughs> this is so slow. The best I can do is come towards this island and then just kind of park slightly offshore and hope that the wind changes so that we can go somewhere after this. That's going to be the biggest issue. I would like to explore more of the map, but um, it's just not going to be... It's not going to be doable if the wind doesn't change, and the wind does never change. Uh, Fury Rex says, why does it look like an avalanche is coming? Um, that's the edge of the server, so it's basically... Like, Atlas is basically a flat earth sort of thing, so if you f go into that, like... I think it actually teleports you to another side of the server because you can't actually, I don't think you can actually go up there, if that makes sense. Like, if you go into that wall of water, it's going to teleport you out on the north side, um, I think. That's how it works on the main map, so I imagine that's how it would work on this map. Which might be an idea. We could check that out. I'm afraid it will kill me. But um, we could definitely try to sail into the wall of water and see where we end up. Yeah, why not? I've started over on this game so many times, I'm not worried about it. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Iguana, will, be, will you be able to stop into both the game and Discord? Uh, Crack, I'm not sure what you mean there. Possibly. All right, let's uh, head towards the wind here. There we go. Oh man, it steers so weirdly. I don't like it. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go full speed at the edge of this and uh, and see where we end up. This is going to be good. We're, we're totally going to die. I'm happy. Um, let's see. Spartan says, you've gotten way better at YouTube since your first video. Oh, thank you, Spartan. I was hoping that was the case, but you never do know. Ooh, wait. Salvage. I would like to get some salvage. Let's not hit it. Not, not, not hit it. Ah. And close. And close. Stop, 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 stop. Game. Game. Stop. There we go. Alright. It's probably a bad idea. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna leap overboard and try to get that. Oh, yeah. Totally bad idea. Hello, Martin. Alright. I want all of this stuff. Got some gold. <laughs> a little bit of gold is nice. Um, Master Arrow says you turn the sails to go faster. It doesn't turn the boat. Um, yeah, no, that's why, oh, the wind shifted. Crap. Hold on. Gotta, like, rotate them in the right direction now. I think I've mostly figured that out. But you have to, like, fight the wind the whole time. So it's a little bit difficult. And it would be very helpful if I had two more people on here manning the uh, sails with me. Um, Arrow says you also only have one sail open. Arrow, I'm doing that on purpose because it's easier to manage. Like, if I need to stop suddenly, uh, that's the way to do it. Johnny Diaz says, yes, keep going. Yes, I will. We're, we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Uh, Snipe 1595 says, hi, do you remember me? Yes, I do. Zazel says, open your other sail. 
It's scary to open the other sail. Uh, if I open the sail, we're more likely to die. Alright, we'll do that. Close enough. Alright. This is it, guys. I don't have any idea what's gonna happen to us here at the edge of the map. I hope we get teleported to either side. Oh no, we just stop. That's nice. <laughs> Hi, dolphin. Okay, so that did literally nothing. Beautiful. <laughs> oh no, are we stuck? I'm gonna be so mad if we're stuck. Come on. Steer. Oh no. I should not have done this. I don't know if I can get out of here. The dolphins are very cute, but I'm freaking out because I don't know if I can get back to the island right now. Um, it does seem like the boat is stuck on this uh, map edge right here. Like it won't turn anymore. Um, no, that's fine. It's just a matter of steering. Can I, please? It gets stuck right about there, and it won't let me go any further. Come on. You can do it, game. I swear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is terrible. This is honestly terrible. We're totally stuck right now. <laughs> um... All right, let's see. Juliana says, I just came to say hi, and I got to go due to work uh, reasons. See you on ARC soon. Thank you so much, Julie, for coming out and saying hi. Glad to see you, as always. <laughs> Free Rex says, get off the boat. What good would that do? Getting off the boat would probably just mean a shark would come and eat me. Um, this boat has some good stuff on it. I don't want to lose the boat. I just got to figure out how to get it unstuck from here, which is going to be kind of an issue. Um... So I've got the wind in my sails, so I should be able to turn it. The problem is, is that it's not letting me turn it. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I can only go so far, and that's so stupid. Yes, yes, yes. Do we do it? Yes. Okay. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way, um, rotate the sails. Let's see, where is it? Like, right there? That's a frustrating amount. Let's see if that'll work. I don't think I can even rotate my sails enough to go back this way. There we go. There we go. Okay, that was painful and annoying, but there we go. Uh, Razzy, Jimny, thank you so much for subbing and welcome to the channel. I do hope you're enjoying. Um, all right, let's see here. <laughs> uh, Aragon says, I made it. Welcome, Aragon. Glad to see you here. Bye, Not King. Thanks so much for coming out today. Glad you enjoyed. <sighs> Um, <laughs> try turning the sails more to the right. Yeah, there we go. I think we're in good shape now. We're cruising along. It's not like the best, but it's definitely going to get us back to where we need to go. It is very funky, but, um, it is very funky, but I am definitely getting the hang of it. All right. Um... Let's see here. BA says, I just tried to get back in the game and it's not working. I'm so sorry, BA. Yeah, the server is angry. We'll just say that. Private servers have a lot of issues on Atlas as, um, just in general. What kind of connection do you have, BA? So it could be an internet provider issue. Um... Snipe says, I've been around since 15k. I helped name Flappy Toast on Extinction. Oh, thank you, Snipe. That means you've been around quite some time. 
Um, Zazel says, never get up. If you enjoy doing it, then don't stop. There's always, and I mean always, room for improvement. Uh, I believe that was directed at Leah. So yeah, Leah, that's pretty much the advice I would give as well. If you enjoy doing it, just do it. All right. Uh, Arrow, it's, it's not so much that, let's see, how can I say this? The mechanics, they exist, and it's not that I'm not using them. Um, I am figuring out how to use them. I am learning how to use them. But Arrow, you have to admit these mechanics are unnecessarily complicated for a game. And yes, I do realize that this is like a real-time MMO game, but it's really, really oriented towards multiplayer, which is frustrating um, just in general uh, as someone who mainly plays solo. And then the mechanics are clunky, like they're bad, they're hard to do, and they don't make a whole lot of sense um, in certain contexts. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go back towards the bay here. Um, I'm actually going to close this sail because I don't want to come in too fast. And let's see if we can rotate the sails over here. I don't think that's going to catch the wind any better. Maybe? Yeah, a little bit. Let's go this way. Just need to get relatively close to the island here. There we go. There we go. Got it. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so <laughs> they they definitely are clunky. And so I I like the game. I like the concept of the game. Um, but you you certainly need the NPCs, which is kind of frustrating that to even make any progress on the game, um, you do have to have certain mechanics uh, figured out already, and there's really very little guidance. Even their tooltips are just not super helpful in terms of the actual gameplay. And, like, in combination with the wind issue, like, it's hard to go anywhere on this game, Arrow. It really is, unless you wait forever, which um, doesn't really lend itself to... Uh, I can't lower the anchor here. It doesn't really lend itself to smooth gameplay. We'll just say that. All right, let's sneak forward a little further until we can lower the anchor. Um, this is going to be bad trying to get out, actually. Can I lower the anchor now? No. Why not? Is it too deep? Because that's annoying. Hmm. Frustrating. I would like to be able to lower the anchor, but eh. It is what it is. The ship is in the bay. It's safe enough. We're close. We're relatively close. I can swim out here. I think we're good. <laughs> if I move it anymore, I know for a fact I'm going to get it stuck and like end up destroying my boat, which uh, is not good. So I'll just kind of leave it out here, and it'll do its thing for a while. Yeah, it's... It's so weird. So I could probably sail out to that island, but that island is terrible and full of, like, vultures. There's another island that's full of crocodiles, which is also terrible. There's ghost ships everywhere. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What should we do next? Um, let's see here. Aragon says, how long has the stream been going for? It's been going for almost two hours now, and I may actually end it off soon, depending on... Uh, what people want to see me do next and whether they want me to see me do anything next. Um, yeah, just because we did we did build the boat. I would like to get an elephant, but um, I don't think that's going to happen. And I certainly couldn't carry it on this loop to begin with. So uh, that's going to be a problem for a later day, I think. Eh. All right. Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Crux says, uh, BA, how's it going, dude? You good from yesterday? Um, 
All right. The mods need to stop arguing right now, please, in the stream chat. That is not helping anything, guys. Um, okay. So, Proud by Legend says, I want a horse now. I would really like to get a horse on the game. I'm actually not sure even what island they're on. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. I'm not sure what island they're on. So, it does look like... Yep, that's the map server wall. Oh, okay. I get it. That's really weird. My server is um, kind of long. It should be a two by one map, and then I don't have one of the maps, so that's really strange. But I don't know where the horses are, so I don't think they're on the Mountaineering Island. They're certainly not on that island over on the right, and I've not seen any... I did respawn that one in the upper left-hand corner is, in fact, a free port. And so I've not seen any horses on that island either. So I'm not sure where the horses on the map are. Um, maybe Anatoria does, but I'm not sure for sure. Um, let's see here. Uh, but good. Hello and welcome. Little Gripe says, swim to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, that would be great. Lissar says, play Ark Survival Evolved Mobile and great. Um, I I don't think this is going to be turned into an Ark Mobile stream since I did uh, advertise it as Atlas. I'm going to try not to switch games anymore on streams. I did that once and people got upset, so not going to happen. Um, we could try to swim to the bottom of the ocean. I'm pretty sure we'd drown, but it might be kind of fun to try. I would have to put all of my gear away, though, because I don't want to lose it. Um, let's see. Popeye Legend says they must be on every island. Uh, well, they're not on this island, so I don't think they're on every island because I've never seen a horse on this island, and it would have been great if there was, but I haven't seen one, unfortunately. We do have a parrot, at least. Look how cute Blue is. Is our friend. Is our buddy. It looks funny because we're all in fur, and then our uh, parrot friend is here. Very much not in fur. There we go. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and stash away my fur gear regardless because I don't need it. There we go. I don't need it on if there's not, like, a cold front. Um, so I don't want to use it if I'm not having a cold front. Oh, let's see what we got from the salvage. I forgot to even look. A masterwork thatch door. Interesting. Um. All right. And then we did get a song. Oh, cool. It increases the gold coin yield of treasure maps. That's very cool. Uh, so we could learn to play shanties and stuff. I think that would be kind of a fun thing to do. I've not tried that yet. And we now have officially 12 gold. I feel very rich. All right. Um, uh, let's see here. Lazar says you could play games, Ark and Atlas. Oh, thank you so much, Lazar. That is very appreciated. Aragon says the eels will come. Yes, the eels will definitely come. All right. Um, cool guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and swim to the bottom of the ocean since everyone kind of wants to see that. I'm going to go ahead and stash all of my items. Eh. including all the food because I won't need it at the bottom of the ocean. There we go. All right, we're going to do this, and then we're probably going to respawn and end off the stream there, guys. So, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Let's try and conserve a little bit of stamina here by walking out on the dock. Um, yeah, I know that the ocean does have a bottom because obviously whenever your ship sinks, you can go and salvage it. It's just a matter of whether or not you can reach the bottom of the ocean. So that's going to be the real qu challenge here. Let's go ahead and go out a little deeper. All right. So far, no issues with that. Ooh, there's a manta ray. I don't like that. Ooh, big rock formation. That's kind of cool. Let's see. I wonder if we can see a shark out here. That would be neat. Uh, no. Just lots of manta so far. It's still pretty shallow. 
don't want to like mess with the manta yet. This is a weird little formation. I don't know how far out we have to go before we would hit like what's considered deep ocean. Let's go up for some air. All right, we'll go out a little bit further. Um, Julia Banger, hello and welcome. How are you doing? All right. Uh, <laughs> Ericon says rip iguana. Pretty much, yeah. That's half the fun. All right, here we go. This is going to be better. Let's see how far down. Ooh, a manta. Oh, it gets dark. Let's not hit the manta. How far down can we go? Looks like very, very far. Uh, there's a rock. Ooh. All right. Here we go. So I think we're pretty much... Okay, it keeps going down. So we can go very, very deep down. I think it's cool that you actually lose the light as you go down. Like, it would actually be hard to figure out which way's up if you weren't actually on the bottom. Oh, now we're suffocating. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it back up in time, but, um... Ooh, giant kelp. Cool. Yeah, so this is it, guys. This is the bottom of the ocean. It is pretty empty down here. Lots of kelp. Not a lot of anything else. <laughs> Uh, we're slowly losing health. Oh, wait, there is. There is an eel. There totally are eels. I didn't even realize. Look at him do his little shocky thing. This makes me upset. I hate eels. <laughs> I really didn't want eels to be in this game. <laughs> um. All right. All right, let's see here. Um, Leah Play says, uh, nope, uh, Cecilia says, guys, don't forget to like, sub, and share. Thank you, Cecilia, for reminding people to do that. That is super helpful. All right, we're going to go ahead and spawn back on, uh, Boop the Sloop here. That's cool. We made it pretty far, so that's definitely not deep ocean, it looks like. I think the deep ocean is, like, these, uh, unshaded areas, but that's still not bad, um, as far as being out there goes. No, I want to... Yeah. Wait. No. This one. Yes. Let's do it. Um. <laughs> Explosionator says, Iguana, do you even meme bro? Uh. Yes, I do definitely meme some things. Some memes I don't get because there's so many memes, it's hard to keep up with them all, and I don't spend my time doing that, but, uh, definitely have seen some memes for sure. <laughs> Just a few. Uh, Little Grape says that was a good learning experience. It was kind of cool. I did enjoy it. Um, it's really neat. I, I do kind of wish there were more ships on the bottom of the ocean for us to go and explore. Like, I would like to know, um, I would like to see, like, treasure maps that showed you where a ship was sunk so that you could go and, like, dive for treasure. I know that that mechanic's in here, but I think it's only in the context of, like, when ships already sink. So I don't think it works so well. Um, otherwise, cow, come here. I don't know why you moved, Betsy, but, uh, come back. Come here. Come stand next to the house, little Betsy. <laughs> right. Aragon says I called it. Yes, you did. The, uh, the eels are out there. They do exist, and I'm unhappy about that. But it is what it is. Uh, Cat Shows and Gaming says, is this on Xbox? No, this is on PC, and I don't believe they have an Xbox version available yet, um, since it is so early access. It just came out a little over a month ago here. All right. <laughs> um, let's see. Cat Show says all, oh, yes. Uh, all right, guys, so... Yeah, I do think that that's probably going to do it for today's stream, guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. It was a lot of fun. I did really like checking out the bottom of the ocean there. And we did get a cow, and we did build a ship. So we did quite a bit today. Um, and it was, in fact, a chill stream. We didn't get our elephant, sadly. But uh, everything else went really well. So, yeah, guys. Um, I'm going to end it off there. Thank you all so, so much for watching. 
Uh, my love to you all, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.